Hello future doctors welcome to the painism i am dr dipen shah and we are discussing the tricky 3 mcq for your neat and aims exam and the topic that we are discussing is from genetics so let us discuss with the first mcq the first mcq says that a color blind man marries a woman with normal sight and who has no history of color blindness in her family what is the probability of their grandson son's son being color blind so what the question says is that the man is color blind that means he will have the genotype x small c the recessive gene and y chromosome so the man is definitely color blind the woman has normal sight but she could be carrier as well but what has been mentioned is that she has no history of color blindness in her family that means the woman has definitely not received the defective gene from her father because there is no history of color blindness and as we are aware that x linked shows criss cross inheritance so from her father she could have received the recessive gene but since it has been mentioned that there is no history of color blindness that means the female has the dominant gene capital c so both the x chromosomes are normal now what has been asked is what is the probability of their grandson specifically they have mentioned son son they have not mentioned daughter son they have mentioned son son uh, would be color blind or not and what is their probability so as per the knowledge about criss cross inheritance from the father this recessive gene will be transmitted into the daughter and from this mother there will be one dominant gene that will be received so it will be x capital c and one x small c so the chance of color blindness being transmitted is to the daughter of this parent but the son will receive the y chromosome and x capital c chromosome from the mother so son is definitely going to be normal so son son being color blind is definitely 0% probability because the son will receive the dominant gene from his mother and from the father the recessive gene is being transmitted to the daughter so definitely the son's son is also going to be free from the defect of color blindness so the probability is nil in this mcq so we are following the concept of criss cross inheritance a very simple mcq moving to the next mcq that multiple alleles are located at whether it is at different loci on same chromosome or at same locus of a chromosome or on non sister chromatids or on different chromosome so remember future doctors that the multiple alleles are actually produced by the mutation of the wild type of allele and that is how a multiple allele is produced and it always occupies the same locus where the wild type of alleles are usually found so multiple alleles are found at the same locus of a particular chromosome so whenever because of mutation when multiple alleles are produced out of that multiple alleles only any two alleles can occupy the same locus so we have been uh, studying certain concepts of multiple allelism where human blood group is an example where gene i has multiple alleles like i raised to a i raised to b and i raised to 0 or we denote it as small i so out of these three multiple alleles any two can come in double dose but they will essentially occupy the same locus of a particular homologous chromosome moving to the next mcq what has been asked is which of the following is a wrong statement so statement a is uv and gamma rays are considered as mutagens definitely this is a correct statement uv rays are definitely non ionizing radiations but they are absorbed by dna or skin cells and definitely they create mutations so they are mutagens even gamma rays in fact these are ionizing radiations they cause an effect on the nitrogenous base pairs and they convert them into ions creating forbidden base pairing and that is how both of them are mutagens so this is a correct statement another statement is change in a single base pair of dna does not cause mutation we have studied certain example like sickle cell anemia where hemoglobin a 
undergoes the gene for hemoglobin A undergoes mutation and it gets transformed into a mutated hemoglobin S gene wherein the mutation occurs exactly at the 6th position of beta globin chain where on 6th position the codon if it is for normal glutamic acid the mutation of codon replaces it by an abnormal amino acid that is valine wherein a single nitrogen base changing creates such a big mutation so here it is mentioned that single base pair does not cause mutation then definitely it's a wrong statement we have studied in sickle cell anemia that a single mutation of a nitrogen base can cause mutation hence we call such a mutation as point mutations statement c what is mentioned is deletion and ins insertion of base pairs causes frame shift mutation yes this is a correct statement again where deletion of a particular nitrogen base or insertion of a nitrogen base completely changes the sequence of codons from that particular point where deletion or insertion has taken place and that is known as frame shift mutation so this is definitely one of the type of gene mutation and it's a correct statement cancer cells commonly show chromosomal aberrations again this statement is correct now chromosomal aberrations wherein there is change in the structure of chromosome wherein a specific type of chromosomal aberration known as reciprocal translocation wherein the exchange of genes occurs between two totally different chromosomes that is known as reciprocal translocation which can result in cancerous formation one of the example is cml that is chronic myelogenic leukemia which is a type of a blood cancer wherein the exchange occurs between chromosome number 9 and 22 and that results in this blood cancer chronic myelogenic leukemia so this statement is also correct so this we have discussed the tricky 3 mcq for your neat and aims exam stay tuned for my further videos that's all from the painism